Hello, I'm Scott Nichols. I'm an accountant with Sullivan Dewing, Chartered Accountants and Business Builders at Carrying Bar. Today I'm going to be talking to you about measuring your key numbers. So specifically we're talking about setting your key performance indicators, KPIs for short. Um, first of all there are financial KPIs and then non-financial KPIs. We'll talk about the non-financial ones later on. The most simple one with the financial KPIs is talking about sales, sales versus your profit plan for this month and sales versus the actual sales that you made for this month last year. We also want to track gross profit this month versus gross profit against the plan and against last year and similar for net profit as well. Other things, financial ones, are things like average invoice value, um, percentage of sales to significant customers. You want to make sure that you're not um, ending up selling too much to one customer or too much to a couple of customers. And also things like percentage of wages to sales. And if you're in retail, you might be wanting to think about your percentage of rent to sales as well. Other things that in the key drivers here that affect cash flow are things like debtors day. So how many days does it take for you to collect your debtors? Creditors days, of course, how many days does it take you to pay your suppliers? So the longer that you can um, wait for, to pay your suppliers, the shorter that you can have your debtors days, um, then obviously your cash flow is improved. And also to stock turnover. Once again, if you're in retail or if you're in wholesale, then your stock turnover um, days is pretty, pretty important too. Non-financial KPIs I mentioned earlier on, they're things like how many quotes have you sent out and how many jobs have you won from those quotes. So we're interested in what is the percentage of your conversion rate. Um, things that we don't like to hear though are customer complaints, but it's important to track those as well. So how many complaints have you got? Hopefully there's none, but how many do you have? Um, and of course your source of new customers, are they coming from your internet marketing, are they coming from the old fashioned yellow pages, are they coming from referrals, are they coming from your team, where are they coming from? Um, that's very, very important for you to be tracking that as well. Once you've tracked these things, monitoring your key performance indicators, your KPIs is very, very important. And remembering too, the analysis of the absolute number isn't so important, it's the analysis of the trend. So whether you've got one complaint a month or a hundred complaints a month, doesn't really matter a whole lot. You want to see that complaint trend going down. Um, of course, your conversion rate, which is your jobs won to your quotes given or your tenders made, you of course want to see that um, increasing. Um, uh, a percentage of wages to sales too, wouldn't it be nice to see that creasing, decreasing as well. Okay, so if you'd like to explore these business concepts further, then please contact me, Scott Nichols, or any one of my colleagues here at Sullivan Joint Chartered Accounts and Business Builders. Thank you.